common visual style settings, edge settings. Let's go up into our visualize tab and let's go to visual styles manager here. In the visual style manager, uh, we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll uh, to our face, uh, down to our edge settings right here. In our edge settings, uh, the first uh, variable we have is show. And if we want to show the edges, we can show the edges as ISO lines. And you can see the ISO lines are set. We can set the number of four ISO lines, the color by entity, whether or not we want the ISO lines to be on top, yes or no. And so now they're on top. Uh, you can see the ISO lines here, they're set as four. Um, and I can say no. And I can change the number of ISO lines, say to 12. And uh, I can say they're always on top, yes. And we can see all those ISO lines. So uh, we also have faceted edges, so we can see that each turn of the of our of our co uh, cone here, and uh, so when we have those faceted edges, we can say, well, let's see the color. The color could be, let's say, red here, and now we can see those edges uh, really well. And uh, if I go back to ISO lines here, you can see the ISO lines are in red now. And so we, we have those ISO lines. Uh, uh, we can also go to the uh, uh, included edges. And uh, in here we can say we want to show those. These are the edges that are behind the scenes. So if I come along and say, uh, let's say none to them. So here, here are the, uh, the edges that are uh, in the backgrounds, if you will. Um, so, uh, let's get the edges, let's turn those edges off, and uh, so we have uh, fast, so whenever we have the facet edges on, we can show those, and I can change the color, let's say, to green, and you see they're in the background here, these green lines, so if you want to see them, you can change the line type and the color. Uh, the intersection lines, uh, the intersection lines, we can say yes, we want to see those, and uh, we'll change the color on those to, uh, oh, let's see, how about magenta, and and uh, and over here we'll take the included edges uh, off, and we'll say uh, we're going to switch that back to normal here. Uh, and let's get the uh, let's go uh, all right we'll switch those to off so uh, so whenever we have these edge settings now and we say we want the faceted edges on we we do go back to the intersection edges and intersection edge is a little hard to see here but it's right there a little bit of magenta where the intersection of those two objects are um, and I'm going to turn that off now and I'll set that back to uh, by layer and silhouette edges uh, I can say yes to that and I'll change the width uh, like 12 and you can see now the silhouette edges are very thick around the edges so the edges are what we'd see if it was hidden uh, so I'll set those to 3 and I'll turn those to off now and now we have our edge modifiers and over here we have two buttons line extensions I turn that on and now my line extensions each line it's like when we're sketching first with a light pencil and then we sketch over the top of it with a darker pencil these are the first pass with our light pencil we could change that number say to 12 and they really stick out okay and so those are our extensions we can turn those on and off 
we also have our jitters and it's this is how much is it a real uh, we got low medium high when we have high it's like we're drawing with a napkin sketch and so uh, default is medium uh, we could also turn those off so this helps make it look like our uh, napkin sketches our sketchiness uh, so we can turn those on and off by picking the jitter edge button so here we have all the um, uh, edge settings but mainly if you have this set to none we don't get many choices here okay so you really have to have these edge uh, settings on to either facet edge or iso lines for you to do something with them so that is our common uh, visual style settings uh, using the edge settings